What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got ourselves a crazy dope off meta team. We are rocking out with Boom Burst Noivern and Copycat Sylveon. So supposedly, when it comes to this team, the Noivern is one speed point faster than Sylveon, making Noivern go first, which is good because we can use Boom Burst and then pair it up with Sylveon, and Sylveon can copycat the Noivern and use Boom Burst as well. So double Boom Burst equals insane amount of damage. On top of that, we can tear the Sylveon Ghost so it doesn't take damage to Boom Burst, and Noivern has Telepathy so it won't take damage to Sylveon's Boom Burst. Again, crazy cool combo, off meta for sure, but I cannot wait to use it for you guys. But let's talk about Noivern a little bit with the Cobra Cloak and the normal Terra type. It's got Boom Burst, like we already said, like 50 times, Draco Meteor, Tailwind, and Sunny Day. Sylveon's got that Choice Scarf with Pixelate, Copycat, Hyper Voice, Shadow Ball, and Hyper Beam. So Sylveon can definitely be used outside of uh, Boom Burst Noivern. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Arcanine, his Sumian Arcanine, and then uh, Golden Go, Garchomp, Milotic. Arcanine's gonna be great with the Choice Band for big time physical attacking damage. Garchomp's got the Loaded Dice with Scale Shot and Sword Stance. Golden Go, big time special attacker with the Choice Specs, and then Milotic, pretty much our only support Pokemon. Recover, Scald, Icy Wind, and Haze. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon in this regulation. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Boom Burst, Noivern, and Copycat Sylveon. Now, if you guys want to check out this team in depth, I'm going to send you to the team creators page. Make sure you guys go follow Jordy BGC. Link will be down in the description below. Obviously, rental code will be on the screen and in the description. But if you guys want the Pokey Pace, head over to his channel. He makes a ton of dope teams. So, again, if you guys want it, Link is in the description below. But we're going up against a pretty strong team right here. Charizard, Electifier, Politoed, Shen Pao, alongside of Fluttermane. Now, if they don't lead Fluttermane, I really like Boom Burst, Noivern, and Sylveon. But if they do, we might have to change something up. But let me check the speeds real quick. Because like I said, supposedly one point faster. 123 compared to, what is this? 185. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is one point faster, which would be dope. Because you get a one point... Is it five times multiplier? So you would pretty much get like a... Might be a speed tie. No, you, it would be one point difference. That's crazy. That is some crazy synergy here with the EV. So I'm going to go Noivern. I'm going to go Sylveon um, in the back. And we need Pokemon to deal with Fluttermane. And we're definitely going to need someone to deal with like Shen Pao. And I mean, Arcanine's not bad here. This was a choice, man. You got Fire Blitz. You got Rock Slide. You got Head Smash. I don't mind you. I do not mind you. We're going to go Arcanine with the Choice Span. And then last but not least, probably Golden Go. Choice Specs Golden Go. Thing hits like an absolute truck. We need to make it rain late in the game. He's going to make it rain. He is going to make it rain. But hopefully we can just rock out with Sylveon and, and Noivern and just boom burst our way to victory here. That would be a nice way to start off today's video. Would be lovely. Let's see who they end up leading here. Anything but Fluttermane, right? Fluttermane really throws off everything. Being a ghost type. Maybe it'll, it'll fairy tower if they leave it. Well, let's see. Man, I hate this game. Man, I hate this game. Uh, I might just ghost terror and stick with fairy moves. And just keep boom bursting with Noivern. I could tailwind. I mean, right now they outspeed us, which is uh, a little tough for me. Maybe we just swap Noivern. Maybe we swap Noivern. And just save it for later. We gotta play this one probably a bit differently. I could swap Noivern into, like, his Swing Arcanine, which isn't a bad play for me, because I got E-Speed. And, yeah, I think I'm cool with that. So, I'm going to go U. Um, and I am going to... I'm going to stay this typing. I'm just going to rip a Hyper Voice. I'm going to swap to Noivern. Sad to say, Boom Burst combo not coming out here at match number one. But, we got to play this one a bit differently if we want to win this first match. So, let's swap to Noivern. Let's intimidate the Shen Pao. With our Arcanine, Fluttermane's looking a tad bit scary. Yeah, I just I just don't like this this combo up against their combo. So he's gonna go for Disarming Voice into both of our Pokemon. Not very effective onto my boy. And Hyper Voice is launching, doing massive amounts of damage and picking up the KO on the Shen Pao. No Focus Ash, which is big. But honestly, maybe could have done the Boom Burst combo, but again, Fluttermane's just soaking that no problem. It's just soaking that no problem. So right now, Sylveon looking pretty good. Arcanine with the Choice Band, I could Choice into Rock Slide, I could swap it out. It really depends who they go into here. And they're gonna go into Rhyperior. Rhyperior comes out here. That kinda sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> that kinda sucks. Um, Rock Slide's okay. 
I mean, all these moves really don't do anything to him. I mean, we might as well go for the flinch and just get rid of the flutter main. So I'm cool with that. Hyper Voice can still do a nice chunk of damage, considering Rhyperior is not that bulky on the special, uh, on the special defensive side. But this flutter main seems like it's not doing that much, right? This is a non-EV trained flutter main. It could be. Wow, that Hyper Voice did do a nice chunk of damage. Honestly, this is a pretty bulky flutter main. I'm not gonna lie, but it just dropped out the rock slide. It might might have been bested. I don't know. I really don't know, but we take it out, no problem. This match seemed pretty easy for us. Brick Break gonna fly here. Ooh, that's some damage. That's some damage from Big Boy Rhyperior. Kinda hoping for the flinch. Kinda hoping for the flinch. But yeah, this team kinda just like countered what we wanted to do with the boom burst, but we'll try to pull it off in match number two. We'll try to pull it off in match number two. So I'll go for another Rock Slide. Hyper Voice should be able to finish off this match with Rock Slide, and it's gonna be GG's first match. Pretty easy, pretty simple, no problem for us. Again, not like a meta team. Probably somebody just hopping on the casual ladder with their Pokemon, and we got ourselves a fully EV trained team. So we were just wiping out people. It is crazy how in death Pokemon actually is. Like, when you're younger, like when I was younger, I would like hop onto like the ladder, and I'd be like, why are these Pokemon better than my Pokemon? My Pokemon's level 100, all this stuff. And did I just glitch out? I glitched out. This game closes on me sometimes. Does it do this for you guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. But we're going to chalk this one up as a W. Let's go hop into our second match. Moving on to our second match for today's video. We're going up against a pretty tough squad here. I mean, they got Groudon. They got Galvantula. They got Incineroar, which is kind of annoying. But good thing we're special attacking. And if I Terra Sylvia on the Ghost, we can't be hit by Fake Out. So... Boom Burst combo looks like it can really start to get after. I'm going to end up leading Sylveon. I'm going to go Noivern here. We are sitting 1-0. My game did crash, which it actually does that sometimes. But again, we're talking that last one up as a W. We kind of had that match in the bag. But next two Pokemon we should bring. We could go Garchomp. We could go Hisuian Arcanine due to uh, a few physical attackers on their end. Specifically Groudon and Incineroar. But I mean, they got a lot of special attackers. Grass, Water, and Fire. Golden Go is going to be... Eh, I really don't want Golden Go here. Um, I could go Garchomp, and I think I'm going to go Garchomp alongside with Arcanine or Milo. I'm going to go Milo. Milo with Scald. Come on, man. Come on, man. I mean, I get that Groudon can, you know, soak it, but I mean, I have Icy Wind. I have Haze here as well. But they want to, for some reason, set up their Pokemon. We can start to get after it, but I I'm looking to just go Boom Burst and Copycat here. I really am, especially I'm kind of hoping they lead Incineroar because if that's the case, he's going to fake out one of my Pokemon when he can't fake out any of them. But no, he goes Groudon and Galvantula. Now, Galvantula is a pretty speedy Pokemon here. A pretty speedster here. Drought's going to come out here. And I am going to go for a Boom Burst here. And on top of that, I'm going to Terra Ghost. I'm going to use Copycat. And we're going to rock it. We are going to rock it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's do it. So we'll terrestrialize this thing into Ghost just so our original Boom Burst doesn't hit. Hopefully we're faster than Galvantula. We should be, right? I think we should be. And yeah, we are going to go for a Boom Burst here. So Boom Burst is going to fly. It's not going to affect Sylveon. going to do nice damage on the Galvantula. Sylveon is going to copycat now. It's going to drop another Boom Burst. And I got telepathy, so it can't hit my partner. I want to say bye-bye to Galvantula. So that's some nice damage. I mean, Groudon was able to soak decently well. But we get rid of Galvantula, which is big time for us. He's going to end up going for a heavy slam, which we so cool. We don't soak too well. But I can boom burst again. Don't make me boom burst again. Which I'm going to do again. I'm definitely doing it again. Not bad so far. This next one will take out Groudon. Which is big time for us. If only this was like stab normal moves, this would be even crazier. But let's see who they bring out next. I don't think any other Pokemon are faster than their Galvantula, right? So this Boom Burst combo could go crazy and keep us rolling. Let's see. Who are they going out with? But that was that's a hot start for us. I mean, Groudon's bulky. They're going to go into Venusaur, which doubles its speed here. He's going to put somebody to sleep. And I'm still going to go for a Boom Burst. I'm choosing to a copycat, so... Actually, could I switch it if I want to? No, I was going to say... Copycat, let's do it. Venusaur, the only little booger here that's going to do me dirty. But hey, we got the combo off. It actually did work. Hopefully, we can pull off at least another Boom Burst. I wonder who they're going to attack. They might just attack Sylveon, which I'd rather have them do than put my Noivern to sleep. 
And that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna put Neuburn to sleep. Tough news. Tough break for us. Neuburn gonna go night night. Do I still copycat this? Or can I like or what am I doing here? What's Sylvan going for here? Should be copycat and boom burst still. No, copycat's yo, that's sick! That's sick! I'll take that all day. We copycat sleep powder. Nice. Lovely. So ground on slump now. That's that's big time for us. That's big time for us. We're gonna go for another boom burst. <laughs> and I'm choosing the copycat. We're just gonna keep spamming copycat. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's so funny. And it's so perfect that we attack the ground on with it too. Because if I would attack the Venusaur with sleep powder, it wouldn't have worked, but it worked perfectly. <laughs> sleep powder, night night. You want to put my guy to sleep? I'll copycat put you to sleep. That's so funny. Hopefully no gets like a one turn sleep. He ends up withdrawing Groudon. Ground Dizzle with the withdrawal here. He's going to go into Char Char. Chance already takes out Sylveon, correct? He's going to go for Solar Beam. Going after Sylveon? I would assume so. Yeah, okay, so Sylveon's dead. Can you wake up, Neuburn? This would be a lovely little play for you. This would be awesome for you. Let's see. What you got here? You're holding the life orb. Wake up. I do wake up. Boom Burst going crazy. Big time damage with Boom Burst. We like that. So we don't have Terra anymore. This thing's going to take solar power damage. Um... Milo's not bad. I mean, Solar Beam could really do me dirty. I mean, I could go into Garchomp. He could put me to sleep. I feel like I have to take out somebody. Who do I want to take out here? Because I am going to send a... I am going to send a Jerky Meteor here. Into Venusaur. I'm tired. I don't want to be asleep. Do I protect here? I could protect Boom Burst. And KO the Charizard. I think I'd rather just go for scale shot. Do I double down the Venusaur? Let's KO it. Yeah, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We're gonna see a terror type pop out here. Is this fire terror Charizard? This could get real ugly. This could get real ugly. It's gonna be Charizard. Is it fire terror? It is. This is gonna get ugly. Can we dodge some heat waves here? We are dragon type, which is pretty good. Can we dodge some heat waves here? Sleep powder comes out here. Hmm. God. Hate you, Venusaur. Really do. I do have loaded dice with scale shot, which could could be good for us. Could be very good for us. And he's gonna drop the heat. How much damage is doing? Solar power boost it. I soak, I soak. That's good news for us. Get a burn. Are you kidding me? That just lost this game. That just lost this game, unless we're getting crits with these scale shots. And I, I missed the scale shot anyway. Nice lovely RNG this match. Just what I wanted. RNG. Just what I wanted here. Awesome, so we're gonna run this match. We're sitting one and one. One and one right now. We're gonna hop into the third and final match. Look, use Boom Burst and Sylveon a little bit better. Third and final match on its way. And I want some redemption. I wanna go Noivern. I wanna go Sylveon again. It does look like we are faster than most Pokemon on this team besides Dragapult. But if they lead Dragapult, we can just, you know, choose Sylveon into a different move and kind of get one with that. So we're going to lead Noivern, we're going to lead Sylveon here. We're sitting 1-1, one one. would love to grab ourselves a 2-1 winning record, but back in Pokemon for us. Could be Milo. Milo's not bad here, slower, a bit bulkier. Um, it does have Skull, which is going to be good up against like Ursaluna and Incineroar. Um, I could go Garchomp here. Could go Golden Go. Could go Arcanine. I feel like one thing that we have to watch out for is Trick Room. And it is scaring me, so I think Milo's definitely a must. And last but not least, it's either Garchomp... I think we're going to go Garchomp here. Hmm. What you got? You got Stop and Catch, and we got Scale Shot to do damage. So, Stop and Catch will be super effective into the Incineroar. Scale Shot will be super effective into the Dragapult. Um, Golden goes weak to the Ursaluna and the Incineroar. Arcanine's going to be weak to the, uh, to the Primarina and the Ursaluna. This is a tough call for me. This is tough, but I think I'm going to go with the Chomps. I'm going to go with the Chomps. Loaded Dice, Scale Shot can do some damage. We got Stomping Tantrum as well. Let's see who they end up leading here. Let's see. We maybe should have went in the Golden Go with the Choice Specs, but again, like, if they decide to pop a Trick Room, that can get real scary. That can get real scary. All right, let's see what they want to do here. Let's see what you got. I'm going to go with these two. Okay, this is this kind of throws me off a little bit. 
It's kind of throwing everything off. Um, we definitely want to go for a Tailwind. And I'm going to choice into Hyper Voice rather than anything else. And do I just go into like a, a normal Terra? I could normal Terra and just like go Boom Burst if I wanted to. But I'm just going to stare typing and just go. Nice little Tailwind here. Let's set it up. So Dragon Dart's going to fly and just take out my Noibrin. Lovely. Awesome. Okay. As long as you're not Calm Mind setting up. I knew I should normal turn. I was thinking about it too. Hyper Voice still flying. Doing some great damage. Bring you down to Sash. One problem here would be Calm Mind. That's the one thing I don't want to have. If Calm Mind doesn't happen here, we should be fine. And he goes for Moon Boss, which is great. That's nice damage, but still good on our end. I think now would be the time to just go into Guard Chomp, force another Dragon Darts, and just protect it. I would love to set up a Sword Dance, but Protect obviously going to be your play. We're going to go for Hyper Voice. And I'm just going to protect it. Next turn, maybe we'll... Maybe we'll use our Terra. But yeah, let's just protect the Chomper now. Let's just get rid of this, uh, this Dragapult. Yep, there's Dragon Darts. Easy read for us. Easy read for us. Hyper Voice now launches. Gets off some nice damage. And hopefully he's doubling down into the Chomp. That'd be awesome if he doubles down into the Chomp. Because another Hyper Voice will KO. And he does double down into the Chomp. Let's go. That's big time for us. We lost Noi Run right off the rip. Um, depending on who they go into, I might just set up a Swords Dance. I might just set up a Swords Dance because I know Sylveon's Hyper Voice will KO the Prima Arena. But if they go into somebody who can't really do any damage to, to Garchomp, Swords Dance play is just going to be nice for us. Let's see. Who's it going to be? It's going to be the Draft. So Chance already wants to set up a... I would think you would want to set up a, what's it called? A Trick Room. So, if that's the case, I'm just going to go into a Swords Dance here. I think it's a pretty simple play for us. And he protects Primarina. Primarina with a Protect. Self Steel Terror, which is great for us. Hyper Voice launches. And they get off nice damage. Just Trick Room all day. It's got to be Trick Room. Now I Swords Dance Bulk. So I'm plus two on attack. Um, hmm. Yep, and there's Trick Room. Alright, so I could protect. Uh, their last Pokemon's gotta be Ursa Luna. I still have Terra, which is really, really good for us. Could maybe just go into Milo and reset that choice, because if I can pull off a Hyper Beam late in the game, that could be good for us. See, so yeah, I'm gonna swap into you, and... I'm just gonna protect Karchop again. We'll use Terra next turn. So I'll swap to Sylveon. Chances are Moonblast might be flying into this slot. We'll protect again. He's going for helping him. Go for helping him, Moonblast. Go ahead. Go for helping him, Moonblast. Do it. Do it. Because I'm protecting this chomp again. Because I'm protecting this chomp again. Go into the guard chomp slot. Man! Luckily, Milo is pretty bulky, but still. Ooh, that's some damage. Wow, we could have just gotten off a free turn there. I think you want to go for a Moonblast now. So we are just going to thrash slice and recover. So I recover here, I am going to Thrash Slice, and who do I take out? Yeah, you go for Stomping Tantrum and just finish off Pre. Pre Marina has got to go. Has got to go, because I'm not leaving this Pokemon on the field. We know Ursula is probably late game in the back. We still have Sylveon. We still have Sylveon, which is good news for us. But the only problem here is going to be Ursula dropping like an Earth Power into my Garchomp. There's the Moonblast, we're able to soak that, no problem. Goes for a Thunderbolt, you should soak this. Cool, and I'll be able to recover, get some HP back. Maybe I should have did some damage to Ferrigraph, because we're just toying with this Primaria, and we really don't want Ursula now here on the field. The top, Stomping Tantrum launches, we pick up the KO. Um, one thing that I think is going to happen here... Is I think he's going to bring out Ursula and think I'm protecting Garchomp. If it's even Ursuluna, let's see. It is Ursuluna, it's obvious. So it should have two turns left in Trick Room, which we do. Um, I don't have Protect on Sylveon, which is tough. I could Protect Garchomp. But I really feel as... I really feel as he is going to think that we are protecting Garchomp. And attack my Milo. So I'm just going to go after Frigrap. I like We protected every other turn for the past like two, three turns. So I think he's on track of saying, hey, he's going to protect here. I really do. 
I really do think that he thinks I'm going to protect. So they go into Ursaluna. They are going to go straight normal. This leads me to think you are going for Blood Moon here. And if I could take this trade, we might be able to win this match. This leads me to think you're going for Blood Moon and a Milo here. This really makes me think you're going for Blood Moon and a Milo. And if you're going for Hyper Voice, Garchomp should be able to soak. You do go for Hyper Voice. Garchomp, you should soak this. You should soak this, Garchomp. And Milo lives on one. Cool. Awesome. That pretty much gives us a win, right? Because now I can just protect Garchomp. Finish out this last turn. Yell Shot should be able to finish off the Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rig for Rigoraf. Wait, you have Citrus Berry. You have Citrus Berry. Come on, you gotta, you gotta pick up KO here, Chomp. Your Swords Dance. And your Load Dice. You at least got two more. Oh, yeah, yo, Garchomp plays no games. Dropping his defense, boosting his speed. We'll protect this turn. Um, We'll sacrifice Milo and we'll turn this into a 2v1 because then I could just hyper voice this, uh, this thing down with Pixelate. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let's go. Good call for us just to attack here. So I'll go for the Scald. Protect my little Chomskys. That should be game, set, match, right? That should be game, set, match. So good call for us to swap into the Milo and not protect Garchomp that last turn. Really good play for us. Even though, even, even if we would have just protected Garchomp... Actually, no, it really wouldn't have worked well because then we couldn't have protected this turn. It would have been a 2d1 if we didn't if we didn't not protect Garchomp that last turn. So yeah, I actually really like how we play this one. Sylveon's back out here with like half HP. I'm able to outspeed again. I can launch Hyper Voices, no problem. And we should win this one. So Hyper Voice coming in hot here. Base 150 power, which is crazy. And then we'll scale shot on top of that, which I think they just cancel, right? I think they just canceled this match. Is that a correct statement? It might be. Probably not. They might just want to stay in here. Maybe they're like, hey, I can dodge some moves. I hate this game. I hate this game. I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. I love it. I love it. I never said I hated a day in my life. What is going on? What is happening here? My choice into this guy switch hyper voice. I, I have to land a hyper beam. I have to land a hyper beam. How do I miss a scale shot and a hyper beam? I swear, if I miss this hyper beam, my fist is going through this monitor and I'll never play Pokemon again. Thank you, Sylveon. Thank you. They just want to make this match way more interesting than it had to be, but. GG's to our opponent, we go 2-1 to for today's video. Thank the lord we didn't lose that last game due to RNG. RNG did us a little dirty in match number 2. I would have freaked out if we lost that third and final match after missing a scale shot and a hyper beam for them to land a hyper voice and pick up the double KO. Luckily, my girl Sylveon got me. She got me. Soaking up, up that hyper voice, landing that next hyper beam and winning us the game. We love this team so much. We only got to pull off the uh, Boom Burst combo in match number two. And it worked decently well, but this team all around is really strong and really powerful. So I definitely recommend renting it with the rental code in the top right hand corner. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.